Hey there folks, welcome to Boating on a Budget, with me the tight Yorkshireman and me Dawn. What have we been up to Dawn? We've been gallivanting. We were out gallivanting about weren't we? We went up up Sheffield didn't we on the yeah. boat to uh, Victoria Keys, the, uh, they had a food street market I think is what they uh, they marketed it as yeah. wasn't it? But this could be actually about the worst vlog we've ever made. <laughs> Probably will be. So we'll apologise right now. <laughs> Because we went up to this market up in Sheffield and we've got loads of ideas that you know we'll go around each stall and we'll record what they're selling and get right in there and you know sample loads of food so we can do all that. Yeah. And then we just kind of got carried away with enjoying ourselves, didn't we? And we didn't. <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of <laughs> took a few pictures and we've done a bit of filming and what have you, but to be honest, nowhere near as much as what no. we could or should have. No. But it was nice because we went out as a group, didn't we? There were a few of us from the from the boat club went up there and so we were up there with friends and things like that as well so it were a nice break away yeah. weren't it as we set off as a convoy of boats we were the last ones to leave and don't the place look abandoned without us all there one thing we did do as well is we took our new gopro we did and filmed some of it on that we've yeah. splashed out the tight yorkshireman Dug really deep he into his Managed into to his press pocket. the buy button. Yeah, and managed to <laughs> managed to buy a, a new GoPro. It's something that I've been looking at for ages, a GoPro, and just never quite got round to buying one. I've no. always thought, oh, do we really need one? But yeah, so we took that. And it seems to be working quite well. I mean, some of the footage you'll see was recorded on the GoPro. Um, and hopefully, as time goes on, and get a bit more familiar with it and get some good footage and things like that. And what else have I done? I've finally got my drone out, haven't I? Oh, it's I've not actually drone. managed to fly it yet, but I've had this drone like 18 yeah. months now. It took cellof cellophane yeah. wrapper off it, haven't you? And it took until like 17 months till I've actually took the cellophane off it. But yeah, so we might actually get some drone footage coming up soon as well. <laughs> We're getting right posh, aren't we? You're getting brave. Yeah. It's just worrying flying a drone next to the water. But we'll see, that might be something coming up soon. One job I did do before we had to edit out was I put our new signs on as well didn't I? Yeah you did. I were right surprised by yeah, that. Yeah we talked about getting some signs for the side of the boat and although we, you knew what we were getting I'd not actually told you that the order was ready or anything was it so I think it was the day before we went yeah. I'd actually fitted them without you knowing. Yeah, they look alright don't I, like them. I mean I must say they're only temporary those aren't they because when we repaint the whole boat properly we've actually booked you onto a proper sign writing course yeah, we we? Have, yeah. with um, Phil Spate yeah, I think that's what he's Phil doing. Phil Spate, the, uh, the renowned narrowboat painter, is doing a sign writing course in a couple of months' time, and you're going on that, aren't you? So yep. you can properly, uh, the art. properly sign write the boat. Then, but yeah, so we've got the name on at least, and the, the numbers and things on there, so at least it's smartened her up a bit for this year. The trip itself, then, was an early start on the Saturday, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we had to be up early. To go up into Sheffield from where we are, although we're only sort of literally a few miles away there's a, a staircase um, not a staircase a flight of locks tinsley flight isn't it which i think is 12 or 13 13, locks, 13 i'm sure 13 it is. locks and you do have to be assisted through them it's not just like most of the locks in the country for those who aren't familiar you just turn up and you do them don't you yeah tinsley flight however because of the way they have to pump water and things up into there they have to you have to be booked in and there has to be a lock keeper who helps you out yeah so, and they generally like you to go up sort of fairly early in the morning. So we had to be around there quite early. Fortunately, after a little bit of a wait from coming, there was, I think in the end, there was the two actual CRT staff yeah. lock keepers and, and then about three or four then. volunteers. Yeah. Um, so we had plenty of help because obviously these locks as well, we can fit two boats in at a time. But there were four of us going up, so obviously it meant each lock and it, in effect had to be done twice, didn't yeah. it? So uh, it was good that there was quite a few CRT volunteers as well as the CRT staff and yeah, obviously yeah. everyone on the boat smoked in as well. So yeah, early start Saturday and up we went. So this was the first bit of footage recorded on that new GoPro. And as you can see, I perhaps need to adjust the angles and things ever so slightly. Because you're basically looking at more of our roof than you are the surroundings. As you can see there, we're approaching a boat that had moored up 
on the left hand side. That's a trip boat that runs from Victoria Keys and you can book that to go out on just a general sightseeing tour or you can have meals aboard while you're on there. As the canal bends around the corner, it then straightens up and as you go down that section, you come to what is quite a famous part of this canal. Can anybody guess what film that's from? When we got there, it was straight into the treats. It was ooh, a nice homemade bun. Yeah, Pat, who's uh, one of the moors here, she'd made some buns to take up. Whenever we have like work parties and things on site, Pat always does the catering, and that's the best reason for coming to the work party. Yeah, it's it's it, not yeah. to get any work done, just yeah. to eat Pat's She food. does some lovely things. She, yeah. she'd done some lovely buns, so we all had a nice bun when we got there. And then after that, we were a bit spoiled. Well, I were a bit spoiled. I weren't spoiled. <laughs> Because your sister Bobby Jo and her, her husband David came and met us up there and they spotted one of the stalls was an oyster bar. Oyster and champagne. They didn't splash out on the champagne but they did get us an oyster. Us? They got me an oyster. You weren't right keen on the idea were you? No. I am not doing oysters. <laughs> <laughs> What's the verdict, guys? Be nice. Yes, after that, we had a good look round and it was quite busy up there, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I would say, perhaps think we were disappointed, it's completely the wrong phrase, but there wasn't perhaps as many stalls and things as we thought there might no. be. It, particularly not, no. it, was, it was marketed as a street food market. And I think in total there were only actually sort of five or six stalls selling You'd food, weren't there? More food yeah, variation. So, so I mean, there was there was choice and the stuff oh, was yeah. nice and what have you. But it would have perhaps been nicer to see more stalls and, yeah. and you know. But it is a new thing that they're doing. They're kind of doing it every month, and I think the idea is it is growing it each up. month. So. Yeah, of course. So hopefully, as the, the months roll on by and what have you, they'll get more and more stalls of wanting course. to go there. Yeah. We chose to have chicken teriyaki didn't we? Yeah. Um, which was very nice it was only on a smallish kind of polystyrene so tray <laughs> we chose <laughs> it was a starter yeah chicken teriyaki on a smallish polystyrene tray sort of a normal tray that you get maybe a burger and chips from a takeaway something like that wasn't it kind of a good spoonful of rice a good scoop of rice five or six so a fairly decent sized piece of chicken with obviously the sauce and things yeah. on and then a bit of that lettuce stuff and things. <laughs> but you'll have to tell the, the good folk how much it was because 
It was ten whole pounds. Ten pounds for a tray of chicken teriyaki. Ten whole pounds. So then I needed to wash it down with something. So I went and got a bargain pint, didn't I? T tell them how much the bargain pint was. Five pound fifty. It was wrong, weren't it? <laughs> yes. I, th I think the least said about the price is the better. Like we say, overall it was quite a nice thing, but the prices were certainly on the steep side. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we enjoyed it, though, didn't we? What you especially enjoyed was immediately after that. Oh, when it became gin o'clock. Gin o'clock. <laughs> which it seemed fairly early in the day for it to become gin o'clock, to be perfectly honest. It's gin o'clock but... somewhere in the world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what gin was it you had? It was a special gin. Hair drops. Hair drops gin. Pear like drops. the old fashioned it was sweets. Very, Pear very drops. sweet, weren't it? Yeah. But it was very nice. Yeah. And we'll not even discuss how much that was. No. That would make me just. I haven't told him. No. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty is the best policy, yeah. isn't it? So Gloss if you don't tell that. me, then, Gloss then, over then that. Yeah, that's the best idea. We then spent kind of the rest of the afternoon just having kind of a, a wander around and sitting about and chatting and we bumped into a few different people we know and and then we got drawn to the pub. Yep. £5.50 a pint. For the, for it the early stop evening. Drinking no. though, didn't it? And, and then while we were in the pub, we needed to have something else to eat, so we had a burger, didn't we? Yeah. A, a gourmet burger. Which, again, it was very nice, but I think basically putting gourmet before it means that they can charge twice as much for it. Yeah. You know. so, yeah, we kind of spent the evening just sort of chilling out yeah. around, the, relaxing, around the boats and around the kind of the pub bit and the, the marina itself. All, all very nice. I managed to get some nice pictures as well as the kind of the evening drew on and just as the light was dropping and it was going dark some some nice pictures around the yeah. around the place. Oh, a pleasurable. Yeah, very nice, here, very nice. Very nice. The following morning though, the Sunday morning, was again an early start because we were only up there for the night, weren't we? Which was kind of a bit of a, you know, we spend a few hours going up the flight, then yeah. a few hours kind of in and around Sheffield and then the following day we had to then come back come down back. the flight a lot because yeah. obviously we were back to work on the Monday. So again, it was an early start but again, plenty of lock keepers around giving us a hand, helping with all the, all the locks and coming down the locks is a little bit easier as well, isn't it? You know, yeah. having to kind of sort of keep waiting as much while they fill because you can no. empty them much quicker than you can fill them because obviously as you're coming down you can kind of crack the paddles fully open and let oh, the boat come down can. Yeah, right, whereas when you're going up, up yeah, some of them what, yeah. now, like, what do you mean it's yeah. going to take the same amount of time <laughs> no. but, Go, yeah. going up you kind of just do you the paddles do a little bit up. at a time so it fills nice and yeah. steady but going down you can more or less just crack just the paddles it. open yeah, and just like empty as, as it wishes so. so yeah it was probably a little bit quicker coming down yeah so we had So the second attempt at using the GoPro, I seem to have got the picture a little bit better, but probably still a bit too much roof in there. Practice makes perfect though, eh? So as you can see, Dawn was getting a nice workout, burning off that gin that she'd been drinking the night before. Spinning those paddles, allowing that water to come out of the lock and our boat to come down to the level of the next pound within the flight. As we come out of this lock, we actually pass the mooring that we used to be on with nuts and vaults. So we managed to say a quick hello to the people that we used to moor next to. So we had a nice trip and it was quite pleasurable. Yeah, nice to lovely. get away again. And talking of getting away again, in the coming days, 
We're going back out on her, aren't we? We are. But it's going to be a bit of a, a busman's holiday, a working holiday, isn't it? Because, in all fairness, we haven't done a lot on this boat. No, we've not. <laughs> really, been since... very, very neglected. Yeah, actually. we've kind of been very doing other things around the moor and getting all the garden bits set up, and we've done odd bits on the boat, but not a great deal over winter. And but it's what it's about. Yeah, and you we've been enjoying have to just the boat. Work we, so. on it all the time. So yeah, we're going to go out on it in the coming days, but we are going to do some jobs on it while we're out, aren't we? Yeah. So we're going to do like a working holiday. Go out for, I think about four or five days it is. And redo in the back end. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, matron! So, hopefully we'll get back to doing a few of them videos where we're actually doing something, not sitting about drinking brews all day and beers. Hopefully then everyone's given us the thumbs up. You've enjoyed watching this as a little catch up and just seeing our little trip out. We'll see them all soon, won't we? But what do they need to do? Because you had to remind me Ding last time bell. and I nearly forgot this time. <laughs> if you've liked the video, press the subscribe, ding the little bell. You get notifications each time we put a video on. I can smell our tea's cooking now, I which I think is why I'm, I'm wandering off. Yeah, I can smell that Our lamp. tea's nearly ready, so we'll see you all later, folks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.